Okay, uh, today's lesson is on how to uh, model conduit inside of Revit. Uh, these are my best practices. I'm sure other people have different methods and stuff like that, but these are my thoughts and how I model conduit, and which I think is a pretty fast and efficient way of doing things. Uh, first, before we get into that, you know, when you're making these families, um, I don't like families that have uh, surface connectors on there. Uh, to me, I think they have their their issues with surface connectors. As you can see here, I'm going to draw this conduit, and I'm just going to say OK, and uh, go up to say 14 feet. And as you can see here, I've got this conduit now. If I want to, you know, I'm like, oh, I can't. I don't want it right there, dead center in the middle. Uh, I want to make a change. You know, now, as you can see here, uh, I can't do that anymore because using surface connectors, you are you cannot move the conduit afterwards. So to me, surface connectors are bad. Don't, don't use surface connectors. Uh, I'm going to delete that out of the family here real quick. And push it back into the project to get rid of those. Okay. Alright, I'm going to select this conduit, create similar. I'm going to go off the face of this junction box, uh, come over here to the panel board, uh, draw the top of the panel board. I'm going to come down to 6'6", six six, which is the top of the panel board. Uh, hit apply twice. It'll draw the conduit. I can nudge it over a little bit if I need to. All right, and then here, what I'm going to do is I am going to I want three conduits. So I'm going to do parallel, uh, make them four inches apart, three. And I am going to create parallel conduit. And then I am going to create similar. It, when we do that, it basically it inherits all the properties, the height and everything. And since I already have these uh, hangers here, it'll, you know, and now I'm, it'll, it'll uh, keep it all the same level. Okay, and now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to just eyeball it in and try to drop in. As you can see, I can't really get this stuff all perfectly square here, but I hit apply twice. All right. Uh, of course, I can do parallel again. I'm just going to do two conduits this time. Okay, it wasn't too bad, but that's how most people, you know, model conduit. Um, I I have a different method, uh, something I created, which was I created these, uh, if you look here, these surface connectors. Okay, so I'll create a similar and I'll just drop it here. And as you can see here, I can change this is a surface uh, face based uh, family and I'm going to just take it down to say just one coupling okay and I use these and uh, the reason why I'll show you uh, I think it just makes you more efficient all right so uh, I'm going to create similar again something I always do it's just like I said it just inherits all the properties but in this case actually yeah I'm just going to create similar so not so much the elevation I just want this the, the size of the conduit or you know, actually you know what I could just say I want conduit because with these fittings it will inherit it automatically and as you can see here um, it I snapped to the fitting it knew what size it was going to be as you can see here I've got a line to show me exactly where it's going to go it drops down automatically of course I could do parallel but it's almost so easy I can just draw three conduits faster than you can figure out and on top of that it's making it the right spacing as you can see here there goes three okay I'm gonna come in hey you even showed me where to put that one I know where to put that one it's just you know it's just like snap, 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 snap. Okay. Uh, here, I gotta, gotta guess where that is. But there we go. As you can see here, boom. Put all that conduit pretty freaking fast. All right. 
So I think surface, these surface couplings that I created uh, really make a big difference, especially in speed, you know. Um, a couple of things to, you know, kind of went a little quick here. But, uh, you know, when you're back over here, when you're doing conduit, just in case you didn't know, uh, for example, if you hold down the shift key, it'll always snap you at, at 90 degrees. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Uh, all right. So. I think these connectors are pretty cool. Uh, they, they do speed you up quite a bit. Okay, over here we have you know your typical, let's say you're editing conduit and stuff like that, and uh, you gotta like basically connect all these conduits together. Uh, here we have it 14 feet high, uh, 12 foot six, uh, 12 foot. So what we need to do is connect them all. So my method here is to, you know, go to electrical settings. I got a 30 degrees. And when you want to connect these two pipes, what I do is I select the opposite side first. And I say create similar. Then I start. Uh, in this case, it will be the lower side. And then when I connect the two together, because what you want to do is you want to take this pipe from the lower and bring it up to the higher, which you've created a similar to. As you can see here, I put it in and I've got a 30 degree slope there and what we're going to do here is we're going to say create similar make sure you're on slope always make sure you're on slope uh, we're going to have our five degrees all right create similar start from there go up to here and now we have it at a five degree slope. Okay. Now I know sometimes you may have a little difficulty because you're just not used to it yet. But remember, what you want to do is when you're selecting a pipe, create similar to, uh, you know, well, start from one level, but you want to go to another level. That's the level you have to do to create similar to. And that will get you. And if you use the electrical settings, um, it should. You know, it's, this is a workaround that I've come up with. Get you the angle that you're looking for. Uh, and to make sure you got the angle, go to project units and make sure that you have uh, your slopes set to degrees. Um, I always put angle to also degrees. And just make sure that's done. And that is my lesson today on uh, how to model conduit all right if you have any uh interesting ideas and comments uh please let me know in the comments bye uh one more last thing i i have some uh, other video short videos and on how to make bends and conduits i'll put the links uh in the comments below thanks bye